What's up, guys? It's the real Bender here, here to talk about the uh, ten ways that Superman has been beaten before in the comics. Uh, Superman is a very powerful being, but he isn't invincible. With Superman set to clash with Batman this year, he brought it, chattering away about the beings Achilles here, Kryptonite. There are more ways to defeat the Man of Steel than just throwing the glowing green rock in his direction. The powers of Superman are well known. Heat vision, flight, superhuman strength, speed, ice cold breath, impenetrable skin, x-ray vision. Being in doubt, such powers would make the character a god amongst men. So it is necessary for the publishers at DC to implant weaknesses and vulnerability into the character. Otherwise, the stories would be mundane and repetitive. If Superman was infallible, then the hero would lose his popularity. No more, nobody wants to read a comic where even the strongest nemesis cannot pose a danger to the te- to the hero. You want to see a challenge, so without some latent weaknesses, Superman's veritable smuggler's board or spin-off material would have fizzed out years ago. This is perhaps best highlighted by the Death of Superman storyline, which increased sales in the d- dwindling comic by thousands. Weakness sales in DC are where it is. The Kryptonian powerhouse has been beaten many different times by many different people. One storyline back in the 80s saw him be, being beaten by a teenager. While the Ultraman, the Death of Superman comic gave the comic unprecedented media attention. With this in mind, we count down 10 different ways Superman has been defeated. He can be defeated by brute force and trauma. Everyone knows this one, even casual comic book readers and non fans are aware that the monstrosity known as Doomsday beat Superman to a pulp, practically killing him. The beast is born on Krypton and possessed strength comparable to the Man of Steel. Their battle was an enthralling one with the final issues of the Superman comic depicting a blow by blow account of how Superman was killed. The issue ended with Superman laying bruised and bloody on the front of Lois Lane, finding out that he had stopped Doomsday but had made a great cost his life. Doomsday didn't need an advanced brain technology or luck to destroy DC's flagship character. Monster was pure muscle with bone like spikes protruding from his body in order to inflict the maximum damage with every single strike. Superman's ultimate loss in this battle was because he was simply inferior to a single minded killing machine. It was all a sales play in the end, wasting time until the, the Lois and Clark TV series could stage a wedding with, which would occur at the same time as the duo got engaged in the comics. Despite these insecure motives, uh, the storyline has become so iconic that the graphic no- novelist is one of DC's highest sellers. And people who don't even care about comics are aware of the plot. He can be beaten like telekinesis. From brawn to brain, Superman has been on both fronts. Doomsday showed that the seemingly impenetrable skin hardened by Earth's yellow sun can be broken with enough strength. But Manchester Black caused call Superman much more damage with nothing more than his mind. Manchester Black had a growth on his brain which gave him telekinetic and telepathic abilities. In a showdown with the Man of Tomorrow, the English villain used these abilities to pinch the blood vessels of, in Superman's brain, causing Superman to exhibit stroke-like symptoms. The Man of Steel uses his heat vision to target the part of Black's brain which gives him his power, but the heroes was nearly killed by the pa- brain power of the, his opponent. Black has further constructed intricate illusions for the powerful. Uh, Kryptonian, creating a vivid reality where everyone in Clark Kent's life, including Lois, have been killed by enemies on behalf of Black. Superman believed this but refused to kill Black, prompting the villain to commit suicide. Even though Superman eventually won a battle in this situation, he was fooled for a long time, contemplating taking Black's life as a vengeance for the loss of Lois Lane. For a villain to bring Superman to the dark edge takes a lot, so black telepathic attack on Superman so he wants warrants his inclusion here. He can be beaten by kryptonite. It had to be on here, didn't it? The re- radioactive remnants of Superman's home planet ended up his primary weakness, ensuring that even more mortals could challenge the Kryptonian powerhouse in the right setting. The glowing green rock weakens Superman while the red variant sees the hero lose his inhibitions. Black Kryptonite splits him into a good and evil version of himself, and the Golden Verity permanently removes the powers of Kryptonians. Lex Luthor, Batman, and the Green Arrow have all used this radio at Kryptonite to cripple and defeat Superman, and it consistently works. It not only sickens the mighty hero, but it causes him to be vulnerable to attacks by humans. 
term kryptonite has entered popular language with the word essentially meaning someone's Achilles heel and is the most common thorn on the Superman side. Although it is, a, it is the most spectacular way to cripple the Man of Steel. It can be beat by nuclear weapons and Frank Miller's similar work, The Dark Knight Returns, Superman is forced to divert a Russian nuclear warhead, transforming the typically muscled hero into a skeletal frame of his former self. In the aftermath of this devastation, Superman somehow absorbs the trapped sunlight from a nearby plant, regenerating himself a teeny bit at a time, allowing him to return to Gotham strong enough to battle the kryptonite armor in the might of Batman. The comic later saw a one-armed Oliver Queen shoot Superman with a kryptonite arrow, allowing Batman to make his mark. Showing Superman to be a failable hero, he was beaten by Batman, Green Arrow, and a nuclear warhead. Batman v Superman is set to draw heavily from this spectacular piece of comic book history, so it'll be, it will be interesting to see how much of this makes it onto the big screen. DC don't, doesn't want the flagship character to look weak, but after the destruction of Cena Man still they need to show Earth has a response to his alien visit. He can be beaten by being deprived of sunlight. Superman's powers are given to him by the yellow sun of Earth. His home planet of Krypton had a red sun, whereas people had human like qualities. So if Krypton's last son is deprived of sunlight, he loses his abilities. Like in the Flashpoint storyline where the government kept the alien visitor isolated on the ground, making him weak and a feeble boy until he was given access to the sun. The fact that trapping Superman in a dark room for a long period of time will bring him up to, to the same level as ordinary humans is a key weakness. Sure, it's hard to keep Superman in the same room, but uh, it, but this can be accomplished then the character is as good as dead. Superman's dependence on sunlight means that he's powerful on Earth, but in other environments, alien worlds, and deep space, his powers are, are unreliable and he is easily defeated. Although in the Flashpoint storyline, the government had kept the kryptonite on the ground since he arrived on Earth. The fact that Superman requires the yellow sun makes him more vulnerable than you could possibly imagine. It doesn't mean that the dark moon would defeat him, but it means that with that with enough thought and plenty of villains and governments have managed to exploit this weakness. He can be defeated by magic. One of the stranger inclusions on this list is uh, Superman's weakness. This has been Superman fattened up, misshaping, and turned into a crime fighting gorilla throughout his long history. Despite his apparent invulnerability, Superman is helpless against magic. He is as vulnerable as the rest of us to his torment. One of Kala's most irritating and consistent foes is the magic Mr. Mixaplick. A villain from the fifth dimension who could only be defeated by tricking him into saying his own name backwards. Although the character is usually a, a slightly amusing one, Alan Moore reinvented, reinvented him into a twisted villain into the whatever happened to the Man of Tomorrow storyline. He normally only uses when he troubles the Superman with trivial issues. But in this story, the magic of being is responsible for nightmarish horrors that deeply impact Superman. In one of Mr. Plicka's strange experiments, he gives the Joker some of his magical powers leading to a new reality. In this newly formed reality, Superman is imprisoned in Arkham Asylum by Bizarro. And only Batman was able to end the chaos. In both of these stories, Superman was powerless to stop atrocities from happening. Requiring outside help to help limit the damage being inflicted on the DC Universe. He could be beaten by psychological distress. There's a reason Superman keeps his identity private. He doesn't want to risk uh, those dearest to him. Some of the darkest hours for Superman still have been caused by loss of or perceived death of his loved ones. Under the influence of, influence of Manchester Black, the possibility of seeing his beloved Lois Lane dead nearly pushed him to the brink to break one of his key rules. He toyed with the possibility of killing black and vengeance in other cases Superman has been unable to deal with issues he cannot uh, stop. He is not all powerful and, and some of his are beyond his control. The fact that Kalia has been bestowed with such amazing gifts yet Clark can't spell so she is available and more than humans means that Superman has coped with a very real sense of loss. The death of Jonathan Kent is one of the best examples where young Clark Kent must come to terms with the knowledge that he cannot control everything. Uh, the humans, the human, it, this humanizes the character, but also shows how much his abilities trouble him. In the wake of doomsday or struggle, Superman struggled to come to terms with such a loss of life. There have been tons of times where the thought of losing Lois Lane nearly destroyed the hero. He can be beat by red sun radiation. As said earlier, Superman is giving 
his powers from the Earth's yellow sun. But under a red sun radiation, Superman is reverted to a mortal stature. In Superman Red Sun, a three issue storyline exploring what would happen at the infant Kala Atlanta in the Soviet Union. Lex Luthor teams up with Batman to trap Superman in a radiation chamber designed to sap the hero's powers. Superman would have been beaten to a pulp and had Wonder Woman not freed him from his confinement. The 90s anime series exploited his this vulnerability as well, with bringing a using a ransom line to inhibit this man of tomorrow's powers and keep him trapped in his collection, although the Red Sun doesn't necessarily defeat Superman. And it was pretty much anyone to attack him as he were, he were a weak human being. This makes it one of the most innovative and interesting ways that Superman has invested in comics and teeth. He can be defeated by high pitched frequencies. Superman showed how a young Clark Kent struggled to hone his newfound ability to, to hear nearly everything. In the climax of the battle with Zod, the villain was caught off guard due to his pe- peculiar power. Superman's enhanced hearing enables him to always hear Lois Lane's constant screams and helps him to find incoming police sirens, but they also wanted the key weakness. Like any of us, loud noises can weaken, weaken the hero. In one instance, Wonder Woman hit Superman's ears with enough force to cripple the character, paving the way for her to beat him with her superhuman strength. Loud noises aren't the sole way to defeat Superman, but they provide a crucial stepping stone on the way to pummeling the Man of Steel. Seeing as Man of Steel shows that Kryptonians are susceptible to this form of attack, this schematic could easily make an appearance in Donald Justice. Maybe Batman can produce a sonar like device to in- inca- 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 incapacitate Superman so that the Dark Knight can have some semblance to it of a chance in a, in a fight. He can be defeated by Wonder Woman's sword. DC- DC's Wonder Woman has crippled the Man of Steel by attacking his hearing, but she also possesses one of the few objects in the DC universe which can penetrate Super- Superman's skin, her sword. The weapon was forged by the goddess, uh, but forged by the god Hep- Hephaestus. I don't know how you pronounce it, but yeah, it has been shown to be so razor sharp that it can cut electrons from atoms. Wielding this weapon makes Wonder Woman one of the biggest potential threats to the Man of Steel. It's a good thing that she typically aligns herself with him, although it's rumored that in the in Donald Justice but it was rumored that Donald Justice got a little team up with Batman to fight uh fight Superman. Seeing as the DC's movie iteration is set to follow the new fifty two version, it is likely this sword could be pivotal to the movie, although the title is Batman v Superman Woman Woman could be the biggest threat to the man of steel. What about you guys? The are there more ways you guys think that Superman could be defeated? Let me know in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace, deuces. Oh.